Hello everyone! Kumusta? This is She and welcome to my channel. Mabuhay from Philippines. These orchids, these cattleyas are grown indoors. I am inside our house and I transferred them here last month. I have a video where I shared with you my year 2022 plans for my orchids and one of them is to try growing orchids indoors for my viewers who don't have an outdoor space or for my viewers who don't have an outdoor garden and I have a beautiful orchid garden if you haven't watched that video yet where I showed you my garden here I will include the link in the description and I hope that you watch that video I will show you what I have here I use an old kitchen rack this is what I have I can actually use a bigger one but this is what I have so uh, this is what I used I placed five cattleyas I also placed sick falls and new falls in the second layer and at the bottom I placed my African violets which are in self-watering pots excuse our floor we have an old warehouse house I will show you how my cattleyas are doing. Cattleyas require high light, so these are the orchids that I place here and they are also not as tall as my dendrobiums and my phalaenopsis are blooming, so I chose them to be here and let me give you a sneak peek first. Look at that new growths and roots. They are actually doing really, really great in this setup inside our house without natural light and only with a grow light. Before I show them to you one by one, I want to show you my grow light first. So this is the grow light that I use. Besva sent this to me last year, but because of the holidays, busy schedules, and also we isolated, so I only use this for a month and and the uh, orchids are here for just a month. I actually wanted to wait for them to flower first before I do this video, but because my schedule for the next days and the next weeks will be very busy, I cannot take care of them here inside. So I am doing this video now. But don't worry, I think it is already an enough time for me to show you if we can actually grow orchids indoors without natural light and just like I told you we live in an old warehouse house we don't have lots of windows we have windows here and a door but that leads to our dirty kitchen these orchids do not receive natural light this video is not sponsored Best Va did not pay me to make this video. They just sent me this grow light for me to try and I'm really loving it. So I decided to join the affiliate program. If you want to check their website, if you want to check their products, please use my referral link, which is available in the description below. I hope that you will use my link because it will help me a lot. Also, if you want to buy from their products, please use my 5% off coupon code, which is CHERY, C-H-E-E-R-Y. This grow light was sent to me in a very secured packaging. I really loved it. I was surprised and from just the packaging, I was able to tell that this product will be a quality one and I was not wrong. The package came with a user-friendly manual, very easy to read and understand. And the LED grow light was very secured in the packaging. Also inside the package are adjustable hanging rope, mental hanger, eyeglasses, and input power cord. I have actually used grow lights before and I think I have shown them to you in one of my videos. They were purple LED lights. I'm not sure if they were actually grow lights, 
but they were advertised as grow lights. They were very affordable, but I stopped using them because they did not help my orchids. They did not help me. So I discontinued using them. If you want to successfully grow orchids indoors, if you want to successfully grow plants indoors, please invest in good quality grow lights. I have only used one quality grow light and this is Best Val LED Grow Light. I can say that it is a quality one because it is a nice product and it helped my orchids grow well. And what I also love about it, it, it is that it has a knob here which controls the amount or intensity of the light. This can also be the switch. So if I turn this, I can turn off the grow light and then turn this again and we, I can use the max intensity or the max amount of light that this grow light can produce. But I only use 50% because the instruction says for flowering plants there should be a space between the leaves and the light 18 to 24 inches but because i have a small kitchen rack this is what i have this is what i use and i place the grow light like this i use this to hang the grow light so the space is i think only six to eight inches from the leaves to the grow light so i am only using 50 percent to measure the intensity of the light whether it is already enough for my orchids i downloaded a light meter app but before i did that i tried using the grow light under 80 percent and it started to burn the leaves so i used only 50 percent and then i downloaded the light meter app on my phone i measured the light outside uh, the light in my garden with the net and without the net and i also measured the light amount here under grow light and i will insert that in this video i am not sure how reliable the light meter app is but for the purpose of comparison so that I can compare the amount of light given by this grow light and given by the sun outside my garden with and without the net, um, I use the light meter up. Now that these orchids are under grow light, I can see clearly how dirty their leaves are. These are fertilizer residue. These are spots maybe from insects or fungal disease or infection because of the daily rains when they were in the garden. And I can also see clearly how well they are growing under grow lights. I'm very excited to show you, so I will show them to you now how each of them are growing under grow light. This is the first one. The leaves are very dirty. This is the ID Wayani leopard and I think I have this Cattleya for more than three years and it still haven't bloomed for me. I bought this is a blooming size but until now she still haven't given me flowers and i will show you how she's doing under grow light so she is growing this new growth here growing these roots these roots are are actu actually grown under grow lights they are already longer now because it's been a month already 
there's another here's another um, new growth here and the ants are eating the sap and look how big these ants are i don't know if they will bite me i will get sick because they are really really um, big maybe half an inch uh, size of ant and look at the fruits i was really excited that this cattleya will grow under a grow light but because i cannot commit to take care of them here inside our house i will be very busy so i decided to bring them back outside and maybe next time if i will be no longer busy i will bring them back inside and wait for them to flower under grow light if they will still not flower for me in my garden so i am really happy to see the development of this cattleya these two new growths are grown here under grow lights and also these new roots this one is a frances fox and i have this orchid as a blooming size for i think more than three years also but it also hasn't flowered for me yet <laughs> i still haven't seen her beauty i am really jealous of the videos that i see in youtube how their frances fox are blooming for them but this orchid still hasn't flowered for me and under grow light look at that new roots these roots and even these roots are grown under grow light before i place this orchid here inside our house um, this was in a smaller pot so i pulled this out from her old pot and place it here in the new pot larger pot and add more hydroton look at their roots it is growing a new growth here and it also grew a new growth after i transferred her here inside our house and it is already growing longer i hope that this one will flower for me soon in the garden and if not i will bring her back inside the house and under a grow light this one i have a video where i showed you how i repotted the scatlia from cocoa husk to charcoal and this is the id also for this scatlia i still haven't seen her flower and i hope that she will bloom for me soon this is the leaf the leaf or the leaves that were almost burnt because I <laughs> turned the knob up to 80% for light intensity. And look how she is doing in under undergrow light. New roots, new growth. As you can see here, she is also growing new roots and new growth. So my cattleyas are doing really really well under grow light inside our house without natural light this one i bought this as a seedling and this is the id i think she is already in a blooming size i still haven't seen her flower and look at the improvements when i transferred her here under grow light i also repotted her from a smaller pot to this pot and these new growths are grown under grow light and even the new roots hopefully this can already flower for me i really hope so i think this is a medium or a small size cattleya and i can't wait to show you <laughs> when she flowers for me this one i also bought this as a seedling size and this is the id 
this is the ID. I hope that this is a small size Catlia. I hope that this is already in a blooming size because I have this as a seedling for I think three or more than two years already. And hopefully this one will also flower soon for me. My Catlias. Uh, I don't know what's happening to them in my garden, but only few of them are able to flower. Maybe they need more light because they are under a shading net, just like my Phalaenopsis. My Phalaenopsis are doing great, but my Catlias, only few of them are able to flower outside the garden. And I was really excited for them to flower here in under grow light. It's just that I will be busy for the next week. So these also grew lots of new roots here and starting to grow new growths. I hope that this will also flower soon for me. I have placed them back and I will not show these to you one by one because this video might be very long. They are growing normally and they are receiving lesser light than these Catlias. I will show you another thing that I love about this grow light, this Best Valed Pro 1000 series grow light. I have shown you this knob which you can turn this off and turn it on up to the amount or intensity of light that you want. I am using only 50%. So here's the thing that I really love about it. This is a switch and Sometimes I go out early in the morning and come back late at night. I just leave this knob here up to 50% and then ask someone to turn this off and turn this on. And the orchids can still get the right amount that I want or the amount of light that I want, the intensity of light that I want still at 50%. So it's very easy to use. Just turn this off and on. This light also don't heat up, but this part here can. And my orchids are doing really, really well under grow light without natural light inside our house. I really love this Vespa LED Pro 1000 series grow light and I'm really thankful for Bestva for sending me this product to try on. I really love it. It helped my orchids but I must bring them back outside my garden because I cannot keep up with the watering. They are still in hydroton in plastic pots. They can dry really really fast and I cannot keep up with the watering because I'm always out if I had the chance, I would have repotted them in self-watering pots or semi-hydro setup so that I won't need to water them more often. And every time I fertilize them, I take them out here to the garden and then fertilize them with my other orchids and bring them back here. So it takes a lot of effort because of the setup that I have for them and because of how I care for my orchids. Next time, I will um, set them up correctly so that I can grow them here um, with lesser effort. So far, I really love the grow light. It is a quality grow light and it helped my orchids grow well. I have shown you how they are doing and they are doing really great under grow light without natural light inside our house. I am happy to share you this video. I am happy to share this experience to you and I hope that this video can help you. There are also other YouTube videos there showing you how they grow their orchids indoors. You can also watch that and I am just happy that I was able to do this video and hopefully I can grow more orchids in this setup. Once again, I am using Vespa LED Pro 1000 series grow light. It is a quality one. It helps my orchids. And if you want to check their website and their products, please use my affiliate link. It is in the description. And also if you want to check out 
please use my discount code. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you on my next videos.